you spend the most time in the cage, you spend the most time taking your swings, and you'll spend the most time hitting on the field. And I've, I've really stuck to that. The epitome of a hometown hero, Walter Cameron Corsi, knew his future was baseball ever since his prep days at Lanier High School. Me and my dad played baseball. We're, so we grew up with sports, baseball, football, basketball, always outside, always playing. And then uh, narrowed those sports down to just baseball in high school, stuck to it a little bit, and here I am. Yeah, at what point do you have to, I don't want to say make the decision to just play baseball, but when you realize you have to take baseball seriously because there could be a future in it past just high school? When you're not very good at the other two sports. Uh, I'm not a very big guy, and basketball obviously wasn't my thing. I shot in the wrong goal one time. Another story. Wasn't very good, so I decided that my uh, career path where after high school would be baseball. After committing to GGC, the decision was made for Corsi to redshirt his freshman year. Why a red shirt? What do you gain out of that? Looking back on it now, I gained a lot. I, I got to sit back, watch, learn from older guys, Trevor Bradley, Angel Soto, Marcus McCorkle, and uh, just sit back, see the game. It's a lot faster at this level than high school. Uh, and I just, I really got to grow, take the weight room serious, and uh, just mature a year. I was 17 when I got here. So I got a whole year to just grow up a little bit as a person and a baseball player. In retrospect, redshirting might have been the greatest thing to happen to Corsi. Leading off, playing second base, number four, Cam Corsi. Well, and it's bobbled, but goes oh. right to the shortstop, rather, for the out. Two-time AII Player of the Year. Two-time NAI First Team All-American. Corsi made an immediate impact for the Grizzlies, leading them to back-to-back -back World Series appearances. For Corsi, the accolades were a result of his work ethic. Especially the night before a game, I like to come up and just try to feel everything. You won't have time and come into BP like you only get a certain amount of swings. I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. If, that, if those 25 swings aren't good, then I want to lean on the night before where I hit 300 balls or whatever it is. Whatever it is, just play hard and give my all to the game and get things happen when you play hard. Corsi knows that physical talent isn't the only thing that makes him stand out. It's his mentality of pursuing excellence that speaks volumes. Every day, just taking every rep like it's like it may be your last, because it might be. Nothing's given in this game, nothing's given in life. And if, if you take every rep like it's your last and that it means that much to you, then the game's easy. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> What just happened, bro? Who was that? Diamondbacks. <laughs> what round? I don't even know what round. 13th, boy. And the 2019 MLB draft, Kim Corsi was selected by the Arizona Diamondbacks in the 13th round. His journey from unrecruited to male athlete of the year to professional baseball player exemplifies Corsi's pursuit of excellence. How do you go from Cam Corsi, unrecruited out of high school, to USA Golden Spikes watch list? You gotta believe in yourself. That's the most important thing that I had to learn is, especially when nobody else wants you or thinks that you're good enough, if you believe in yourself, you don't have limits. You have a work ethic, a, a focus, a mentality, constantly pursuing that excellence. Where does that come from? Um, being told you're not good enough your whole life. Yeah, I'm not the biggest guy. I mean, I didn't have very many options. Nobody was jumping at the bit to get me. And it's not fun, you know? That's not fun to not feel like you're good enough, so. I feel like the game 
respects people that give the game all they have and you get rewarded for playing hard and playing your game and playing the game the right way. So I think if you go out every day, play hard, play the game the right way, then you'll find success. I got a taste of a little bit of success and I, I didn't want to give it up, so I want some more of it.